Okay, so if you want to figure out how to do, will this make my grade go up? Here's your paper. I want to direct your attention to this right here. If you get confused about how to create a percentage from two numbers, you use this. You take the total number of points you got divided by the total number of points possible. And then once you've got that, multiply it by 100 and then you'll get a percent. All right, so uh, first let's look up here. The test is worth 39 points. If you got a 24%, or I'm sorry, not a 24%, if you got 24 points, you take 24 divided by 39, and then you multiply it by 100, and that will give you your percent. Then, whatever percent you get, you look at your grading scale over here and see if it is above a 65%. If it's a 65% or above, you passed. If you didn't, then you failed. So then take 31 divided by 39, and then multiply it by 100, that'll give you a percent, and then you see, was that above your 65%? For this one, there are 100 total percentage points always, right? It's everything's out of 100%. So we wanna know this test, 100% divided by the 39 points, and that will give you your answer right here. Now for this, as we said, anything 65% and above will be passing, so we want to get 65% of these points. Okay, so if I take 65%, and that would be 0.65 on my calculator, and then multiply it by this, then I will get this right here. That'll get how many points I need to pass. Now, if it's not a whole number, you're going to have to mess around with that because we need a whole number of points to write in here. For this, here's our, our, our average, right? So if you have a 75% average, that's what this says, and then you get another 75%, if you get the exact same thing that your average already is, it's gonna stay exactly the same. If you get above it, what do you think that will do to your middle, your average, will that make it go up or down? And then here, will that make it go up or down? Now for this one where a lot of eighth graders are getting confused, I'm not having you calculate the percent of this. I'm having you add this to this to figure out your percent. So you'll take 75 out of 100 plus your new one right here, 9 out of 10. So 75 plus 9 gives you 84. 100 plus 10 gives you 110. So then you would have 84 divided by 110. Oh, by the way, if you want a little bit of a bump here, if you write math is fun right in this little spot, I'll give you an extra point. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. So now we're at 84 out of 110. Then you got 20 out of 28 on a project, so you add 20 to your 84, that gives you 104, and you add 28 to your 110, gives you 138. So you should have 104 out of 138. Again, you'll take 104 divided by 138, multiply it by 100 to get this over here. And then finally, you're gonna add 47 out of 50 to your new total. So 47 plus 104 will give you 151. 138 plus 50 is 188. Take what you got, divided by the total possible, and then multiply it by 100, and you've got it right there. Then, as we move on, uh, we will see the back, where Bart's mom says he needs to have a B minus or higher if he wants to play. All right? Now, this right here, there were 130 points, but now we took a 42-point test. I'm going to take 130 plus 42, and that's it right there. Oh, I will give you another point if you just write France at the very top of your paper. Anyway, so this is 130 plus 42. Right here, you need 85, I'm sorry, 83% because an 83% is still a B minus, 83% of this box right here. So if you take 0.83 times this right here, that will tell you the total number of points that he needs after the test. Now that's not your answer. Don't get a little. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. You're going to take that minus 110, and then that's going to give you what he needs on the test. That's what goes in this box. And then if you take that divided by three points each, that'll give you the answer to this box. Now, without being too um, uh, too unkind here, I really think that if we read these and we read these, we should be able to get these three scenarios right. This one was the hardest. I think you can handle it. Good luck. If you still stumped, let me know.